Hello guys, here I gave you some tip on easy, frustration free, replacing your CV boot if it's ripped. Okay, so here's my car, here's a Celica GD4, it's um, audible, super strong suspension, a variation of McPherson, but uh, the timing should work on most of the cars. You see, uh, here is the CV axle. This axle, this inner CV joint, was ripped recently and spring, spring, psh, 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 some fresh grease onto the transmission. So I have to replace the inner CV joint in the proper way, the Euro proper way to do this is remove this entire CV axle from the car. And you clean it and replace the boat, inspect, clean, replace. Uh, but that took a lot of effort, you know. If you have to remove this axle, you have to remove the hub nut from the knuckle. And then you have to uh, unbolt the cone rod, uh, the control arm, the camber arm, the ball joint, everything. And, you, and if you pull the entire axle out, it might just, uh, you have to change the gearbox oil. Because oil will leak out from the transmission hull. Uh, so here's my method of doing it from researching on old uh, Facebook posts. So you know usually the outer CV joint is very difficult to remove from the car but not the inner. The inner CV joint is usually only held very loose usually by a snap ring or even nothing just by boot just the held in place by this suspension geometry. So if you could just uh, detach the ball joint here, detach the ball joint, uh, I believe this is just a bracket, but the, on the Euro McPherson setup, this should be a ball joint. And uh, and you steer, steer uh, this is the left wheel, so you steer to deadlock. And you just remove this inner CV joint from the stop. The stop is still left in the car. So this thing is still left in the car. The inner part. And so the oil won't leak out. The oil seal is still in place. No replacing expensive gearbox oil. And and, and then just uh, gently push because the the steering already turned to deadlock. Uh, this axle is st is already a little bit removed from the inner joint, and then you gently push because the ball joint is unbolted. You gently push this thing out of the way, out of the way. And if you're lucky, your car uh, have uh, this type of geometry. You could just slide out this thing, this inner CV joint, out of the stop and separate it. So, wait a sec, show this. If I Push outwards could fit in. This gap is enough to remove the axle from the stop. And then you can use a super stretchy boot, universal boot, or just uh, remove bearing cage and putting a new one. Very easy to do it. The only damage in this whole process it struck one ball joint boat but that's not helping. So that's the technique. Remove from inside. And if you want to replace this outer one, outer CV boot, you could also do this.
just uh, remove, just uh, replacing the two together. First, we insert the out one, then insert the inner one. Okay, let's get out of the car. So that's the technique. Hopes it could help.